Nicole is a 2010 graduate, graduate of Penn State Barron with a degree in medical and mechanical engineering and currently serves as the Director of Research, Development, and Innovation for PMO Americas at Trivium Packaging. Nicole is focused on the next generation of metal, metal packaging solutions, helping her team provide innovations that will shape the industry. According to one of our nominators, Nicole's rigorous application to using recycled materials, creating reusable closure systems, and applying solutions for down-gauging metals embodies Penn State's drive towards sustainability. These facets are the future of how engineering alumni are building a better planet. Nicole embodies a pay it forward mentality as she continues to give back to her alma mater and young women pursuing STEM careers. She served as the keynote speaker at Penn State Barron's Richard J. Fassenmeyer Engineering Design Conference and regularly volunteers her time to support Barron's K-12 outreach efforts, including an annual outreach program to introduce girls in 10th and 11th grade to engineering career fields. And also, of course, to, to engineering at Penn State Barron. In total, Nicole has worked with nearly 1,000 future female engineers. Nicole, I'm honored to present you with the 2023 Alumni Achievement Award. Wow. <laughs> um, I'm beyond grateful uh, to be receiving this award, and I really am humbled and thankful, and it's something I'll cherish my whole life. Um, I'd like to thank the Penn State Alumni Association, uh, the Penn State Barron School of Engineering, and it definitely a special thanks to Chancellor Ford and Melanie. Uh, who is one of the most inspiring people that I actually know and continues to support and allow me to really engage with what I like to say are future Penn Staters. <laughs> so 30 years ago, uh, a small, young, blonde girl, you know, used to constantly follow around her grandfather, right? Uh, she was looking for something to do, you know, attached at his hip, uh, probably a little annoying, uh, never shut up, always had one million questions, um, but interested really in everything that he did. You see, he was an Air Force pilot, a bricklayer, a painter. He was a jack of all trades, and he was the type of person that you would see, you know, fixing things, making things work, doing whatever it took. You see, my grandfather loved having me around. He, you know, I loved being there with him. And when he was busy, he would always say, hey, Nikki, why don't you come help me or learn or do this or take apart this? And I would spend hours figuring out how things worked, uh, working with my hands, building things, innovating. It was hard work. It was quite unusual, um, but it was a lot of fun. To this day, I look back and I think about those you know, everyday moments and how they've influenced choices that I've helped to shape who I am and everything I've been able to accomplish. You know, my very young introduction to STEM and how it allowed me to really thrive and, and pursue a career dedicated to really, you know, building things that can help uh, new consumers. So, you know, what this did for me is it allowed me then to really engage and want me to go to somewhere like Penn State. And Penn State, especially Barron, taught me how to think like an engineer, how to be an engineer, but really how to succeed. You know, they, but then they offered more than that. They offered us a community, a really sporting community filled of, you know, people like everyone sitting in this room, inspiring, committed. And, you know, you always had this sense of never being alone. So that community started my career, but it's also supporting me now. Um, from my first job fair um, at campus, you know, I will forever be grateful for people like Jeff Lance and Jim Bretter and Jim Ertle, who really gave me my first opportunity as a sophomore engineering, mechanical engineering student. They allowed me then to join the FMC Technologies team and really thrive. 
And then over the next 10 years, they, they let me get into manufacturing, applications, quality, technical processes. And what that did is it really allowed me to understand the importance of understanding business, but then, you know, going beyond that and always challenging myself. So I thank them so much. And then five years ago, I took a call unexpectedly, something that changed my career and really challenged me in ways I never thought before. And I, I went to Trivium Packaging. I completely changed my direction, and I started to get back to my roots of what I love, which is innovation, creativity, design, looking at ways to really differentiate metal packaging and products. But at the same time, I got to work with the best people, experts, Tom Schupack, John Bloom, Keith Mitchell, Carrie DeWar, so many, and be a part of a team, and they all know who they are, and forever that, I'm thankful, and that's why I'm here. But because of these mentors, my colleagues, my friends, I continue to find passion, and because of the great Penn State community, and lastly and most importantly, my family and friends, my mom, my in-laws who are sitting here, and my friends, my brothers, my sisters, and most importantly, my husband and our four boys who are probably going to be future Penn Staters. Right, boys? We are. <laughs> yeah. So thank you, Maverick. Thank you, Riker, Waylon, Atlas. Nothing would be possible without you. You guys are my everything, my rock. And finally, Thank you to everyone here. Congratulations to, again to all these amazing and inspiring award recipients. I am honored to stand here with you. Congratulations. Thank you. And we are.